So, wir kommen zur vermutlich vielleicht letzten Folge. Werden wir noch einem Geist begegnen? Hallo. Leonard war ein sehr spezieller Mann. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't... I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth. A truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen. I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her and I hated my father. But I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us, and you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. Oh, ich ahne Böses. Ich ahne Böses. Die Tür ist wieder zu, ne? Kriegen wir sie überhaupt? Ja, wir kriegen sie auf. Okay. War das mit dem Anwalt mit Sicherheit auch alles komplett gefälscht, der Brief etc. Guck mal, das leuchtet. Ach so, wegen der Lampe. Oh Gott. Diese. Hä, was war das denn? Ist das überhaupt ein Kofferraum? Das sieht ja aus, als ob die Klappe genauso da drauf liegen würde. Was ist in dieser Decke? Waschen. Sag jetzt nicht, da ist ein Baby drin. Obwohl, es war ein Jahr, ein Jahr später. Das würde nicht passen. Und Rich ist ja auch erst ein Jahr später gestorben. Also kann es eigentlich auch nicht sie sein. Waschmaschinen? Hallo? Äh. Die Z 
Zahnspange. Und Blut, so wie es aussieht. Oh Gott. How could I have forgotten? I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family. You and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. And then... She put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She'd cleaned it. Go on. No. I... I don't... Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... <laughs> I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled in the blanket God, oh my God she killed Rachel Thank you, Nikki Oh You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. Plus, she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is... is here? You know, I... I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now... we can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. 
We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. You're the only one left. Don't leave me here alone. I'm scared. It's white as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountains. You... You left the hotel? But it's too cold. You'll... You'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can... And go back. To her. Don't, don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my... Tough... Pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again. In another time. Beyond this horizon of events. Everything is. Irving? Irving? I don't want to stay alone here. I... I... Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm... Ah, who's there? Rachel? Is that you? Yes? I'm good. Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us? What do you think? be so nice to be all together mom dad it would be so nice oh nein ich glaube ich weiß was passiert Stop it, please. 
Anger shouldn't rule our life. You said that. I'm scared. You... I... don't want to die. It's getting dark. <coughs> I can't see the light. here with you, Daddy. Mom, we'll bring back the Timberline to its fortune together. We will be happy again, all together. Yes, like a whole family. No more anger, just love. So, das war also das Ende. Wobei für mich persönlich immer noch einige Fragen offen bleiben. Scheinbar gibt es mehrere Endversionen, weil wir konnten ja jetzt uns eben entscheiden, ähm, ob wir den Motor wieder ausschalten oder nicht. Am Anfang dachte ich erst, ich habe die Klebestreifen und so gesehen, da dachte ich erst, das wäre unser Eishockey-Leger, den sie angeklebt hat, um ihn mitzunehmen. Aber als es dann daran ging, äh, das Auto anzumachen, war mir eigentlich klar, was passiert. Und ich denke mal, man kann sie auch sterben lassen. Dass es tatsächlich mehrere Enden gibt. Und vielleicht auch, ähm, wie es mit Irving endet, weil da war die Errungenschaft allein. Und es gab ja auch vor immer einen Haufen Möglichkeiten, ähm, bei den Dialogentscheidungen vielleicht spiegelt das alles ein anderes Ende irgendwo, so ein bisschen. 
Oder bringt es ein anderes Ende? Ähm, was ich mich aber frage ist, wenn unsere Mutter Rachel getötet hat. Frag ich mich, wie konnten dann der Vater und Rachel noch ein Jahr nach deren Auszug von uns ähm, noch weiter zusammenleben? War das Weihnachten nur so eine Art Wiedervereinigung, dass wir dann nochmal zu Besuchen gefahren sind? Ähm Oder war es einfach bloß eine ausgedachte Story? Und wir haben das alles so ausgeblendet, dass es gar keinen Sinn alles ergibt. Und wusste unser Vater Bescheid? Das würde mich noch interessieren. Ich glaube fast ja. Und deswegen der Streit, als sie wiederkam. Auf jeden Fall eine krasse Story, ey. Die ganze Zeit habe ich echt damit gerechnet, ähm, dass da noch ein Geist kommt oder irgendwas, aber tatsächlich nichts weiter. Hui, ich glaube, ähm, ich werde mich mit dem Spiel noch weiter auseinandersetzen. Zumindest online-mäßig. Ob ich es nochmal spiele, weiß ich nicht. Aber ich würde gerne herausfinden, wie die anderen Enden aussehen würden. Kann ich auf jeden Fall nur weiterempfehlen, dieses Game. Hammermäßig, ey. Und es, es hat so Parallelen zu ähm, Firewatch. Auch da waren wir alleine, hatten nur eine Person, mit der wir reden konnten. Und auch die haben wir am Ende nicht mehr getroffen. Naja, das war's dann also mit Richard Foster. Spitze bedanke mich. Bis dann.